<laughs> Would you care to take part in a little warm-up? Sure! A warm-up you won't survive! We'll see about that. From the looks of it, this perfect form of yours doesn't seem like it was worth the wait! <laughs> <laughs> This gap between us you mentioned is moving in the opposite direction now. Why would that be? <laughs> Whatever. I think it's about time to kill you. What are you doing, Trunks? If you don't get in there, Vegeta's gonna die! My father would rather be defeated by Cell than have me, Goku, or anyone help him. He's that proud of a warrior. Hey, I get that, but still! If my father loses consciousness while fighting Cell, I'll step in. <laughs> Impressive. It looks like you're still holding on to what little life you've got left. Allow me to put you out of your misery, Vegeta. Trunks. I'm gonna kill you, Cell! Quite a gutsy thing to say, Trunks. Krillin! Take my father and get him out of here! Right, you got it! <laughs> Trunks' power level! It's taken a massive dive! Cell's power level is through the roof! Did he overpower Trunks? Not good! Vegeta! Come on, Vegeta! Wake up! <sighs> but I'm rather disappointed in you and Vegeta. I expected more from you two. I mean, don't tell me this has been a waste of my time. Now, just one last question. It's interesting. Although it ultimately proved meaningless, you were able to greatly increase your power in a very short period of time. If you had more time, would you be able to power up even further? It's hard to say without actually trying. Why would you ask me something like that? <laughs> so it is a possibility. Next question. Why hasn't Goku shown his face yet? I mean, what could he possibly be doing that's more important than this? 
Goku is training to take you down. No matter what you do, he'll be ready to fight you tomorrow. If you're looking for a real challenge, and it sounds like you are, then Goku won't disappoint. Trust me. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Then maybe I'll hold a little tournament. A... Uh, a tournament? Let's make it mm, 10 days from now. Say 12 o'clock, that should give you time to better your skills, if that's possible. Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but there used to be a martial arts tournament known as the World Tournament. I think it's high time we brought that back. One small change, in this tournament I'll be the only opponent. I'll fight you one victim at a time, and if I win, the next challenger enters the arena and fights me, and then the next, and the next, until I'm the last one standing. I'll spread the word of the tournament, its rules, and its location soon. Perhaps we can even have the whole thing televised. <laughs> what fun. Uh, wait, Cell! What's the point of holding a tournament? What's your end goal? The tournament will showcase my strength and true greatness, and plunging the world into terror will be a nice little bonus as well. And my end game is... I don't have one. I mean, maybe to have a little fun toying with you halfwits, destroying, tormenting, lording over you. But my real passion, of course, is to see the look on people's faces as they cower and realize that all hope is lost. Ah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what you can do. After reviving Vegeta and Krillin with some Senzu beans, Trunks told them about the tournament Cell was planning to hold. Uh, a tournament? He's just toying with us! Damn him! I... I plan on entering the hyperbolic time chamber again, once Goku and Gohan are out. You and Kakarot will only get in the way! I will be the one to enter that room and finish this! Uh-huh. I... I too will enter the tournament. Please, take me to the Capsule Corporation and have me repaired. I will prove useful. Are you crazy? You're one of Dr. Giro's androids! Okay. I'll take you. Truth be told, we could use as many allies as we can get. Krillin. Relax, Trunks. I have a feeling this guy's not so bad after all. I mean, the two other androids Cell absorbed didn't seem that bad either. You said it yourself. These androids and history itself are different from what you know. Gohan, you've gotten so much stronger than I thought you would. It's pretty impressive. I hope so. It's hard to tell, though. But I gotta say, you haven't come close to reaching your full potential yet. You've got a lot more in you. I just know it. Really? What do you say? Think it's time to finish up our training? Finish it? Yep. Come at me with everything you've got. Don't hold back. Try your best to take your old man down, huh? Well, I can't do that. But I'll do what I can. Come on, Gohan. Let's see what you've got. Show me. Okay. Not too shabby, Gohan. 
Incredible. Don't ever forget what that felt like. Right. Uh, but, Dad, we're probably gonna need more time before we go beyond Super Saiyan, don't you think? I mean, come on. I just learned how to become one, so I have no clue what I would even do to go further than that. I think I just might know what to do about that. Huh? We just need to get our bodies used to staying in the Super Saiyan form. What do you say? Think the two of us can manage that, Gohan? Staying in the Super Saiyan form? Yep. We treat Super Saiyan as our normal state of being. Do you understand? Anytime we're awake and moving around, that's the form we'll be in. First, we'll learn to control the more emotional aspects of the transformation. That makes the most sense, right? Then, once we do that, we'll start our training up again from the basics. This could work out. I know it's not exactly straightforward, but I really think this is our best shot at going beyond Super Saiyan. Uh, uh, okay. After informing Trunks of the tournament, Cell constructed an arena in a nearby deserted area. He then forced his way into a TV station and via live broadcast delivered his terrifying message to the entire world. His tournament 
known as the Cell Games, would be open to all and begin in just nine days. Cell then declared that if all participants were to fail, he would eliminate all known life on the planet. In order to prove that he meant business about his threat, he easily reduced a section of the city to rubble. Cell's ultimatum proved effective in its purpose as the world had become utterly gripped in fear. Recent peace had weakened army and police forces, now powerless to confront the new enemy. People had already seemed to have forgotten about the young boy who had stopped the evil demon King Piccolo. They were also unaware of Vegeta, the Saiyans, and the others that fought Frieza on Namek. Goku was no more than a long-forgotten memory. Damn that Cell! This is just a game to him? No way! I can't believe he actually went on television and told everyone! If none of us can beat him, he's going to kill everyone on Earth! And now the whole world is panicking. I hope Goku and Gohan are almost done with their training. There are still three hours left before the full day is up. <laughs> no guarantee they'll come out after exactly one day. No need to rush. We've got nine days until the games. Huh? That's Goku and Gohan's energy. Are they out already? What? What are they... What are they doing out this early? What? Vegeta and Trunks? You guys are here too? Cell must still be alive. What happened? I can still sense his energy. Huh? That's Gohan. He looks so different. What? They're... They're still Super Saiyan? Wait. Something is different. They seem calm. Someone get us up to speed on what's going on. Uh, right. Here's what happened. The Cell Games, huh? So, he's holding a tournament. Honestly, that sounds kind of fun. Mr. Popo, you still got my uniform? Oh, yes, I have it right here. Mr. Piccolo, I'd like some new clothes, too. Like yours. Sure thing. You're gonna look real good in this. Yay! <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Piccolo. So, tell me, think you have what it takes to beat Cell? Not sure. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting him in this perfect form of his yet. Actually, I'll go do that now. Hmm. There we go. Oh, it's Goku. Yep, in the flesh. So what do you think, Goku? Are you willing to let the fate of your world be decided in this ring? Kind of small for something like that, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so that's your perfect form. Yes, yes indeed. You can count on me being here for the tournament. But until then, don't go killing anybody. Not one person, got it? We're gonna have a great match. Man, he's gotten way stronger than I thought he would. So, Goku, what do you think? I'll be completely honest. 
I didn't think he'd power up as much as he did. Okay, so... I won't know for sure until I fight him, but I'm probably not going to be strong enough to beat him. Uh, no way! Then just go back into the hyperbolic time chamber. We've got the time. Nah, me and Gohan will train outside. We got nine days. We'll figure something out within that time. But why? You still haven't used up a full day. Why in the world would you waste one of the two days of your life you're allowed inside that chamber? Because that place can really put your body through the ringer, if you know what I mean. We could use some quality rest right now. Well, well. Look at that. Even the mighty Kakarot wasn't nearly tough enough to handle the room. Fine. You might be right about that. But training there anymore wouldn't do us any good. But don't let me stop you. If you guys want to head back inside, go right on ahead. Besides, it looks like you could use some more training. What? You have some nerve. You don't actually think you're stronger than me now, do you? Don't make me laugh! Yeah, a lot stronger, actually. What? All right. Keep at it, you guys. See you all at the tournament, okay? Gohan, let's go. Oh, right. Only nine days remained until the Cell Games tournament. Goku and Gohan returned home for some well-earned rest after their intense training. Here's the plan. We'll rest for three days, train for three days, and then rest another three. How does all that sound? Dad, uh, are you sure that's okay? You think we can beat Cell? Trust me, we'll be fine. Goku, I need you to come back to the house! Huh? Chi-Chi? Ha! Yep, there's no place like home. Goku, you're finished training, right? Then let's go somewhere as a family. Well, I'm not completely finished, but okay, sure. Good, it's settled. Now that Goku finally has his license, we can borrow a large car from my father and take a relaxing drive to the lake as a family. Okie dokie. Anything we should bring? I'll put some lunch together for us. Can I count on you for some meat and fish? Meat and fish. I can remember that. How much? I'll need exactly... Bring all that back, and I'll whip up a feast. Time to get collecting!
hyperbolic time chamber wasn't very good, huh? I can't release my full power if I don't have something tasty to eat. Good thing we left the chamber early. Seems about right. All right, this should be enough fish. All that's left is the meat. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time to get collecting! Well now... Huh? <laughs> All right. 
right. Thanks. I can't wait to dig into some of Chi Chi's home cooking. Time to head to Jero's hideout that Krillin and the guys found before. <laughs> <laughs>